Hey guys, it's Brian, and in this video, I'm kind of like expanding on a video I did on TikTok. And if you haven't followed me on TikTok, and you're on TikTok, glad to have you on. You know, come come follow me, and you know, we can talk on TikTok. I love answering questions. But with that video that I put out, it was um, basically mapping on Lorance C map, doing shading relief and other things, and I kind of like hit shading relief right quick. Um, this kind of expanding and if you know i hope this helps if you have any questions go down and hit me up in the comments you can dm me dm me on all my social media whether it's instagram uh tiktok uh, facebook maybe i don't check facebook that often but facebook um you can comment down here on youtube like any questions you got I, i'm glad to help if i can help you we're gonna i'm gonna help you so just hit me up and we'll go from there. So with that being said, let's just go in and like, let me start going in. And it, I will say I've already recorded. I do ramble a little bit. I do go off on a little tangent, but it's all info. And if you can follow my mind, like my little train of thought and squirrels and then put them, you know, tuck them away. And then I come back to them later. It'll help you. So with all that said, let's get straight to it. Okay. Awesome, let's go. All right guys, so let's get started. Again, this is uh, the CMAP reveal and I'll put the full title right here for you. That way you know exactly what it is. Um, I wanna say it's the CMAP reveal Southeast. Um, but we're in my garage right now. Uh, so this is zoomed out. This is Gunnersville. Look, I'll do my, it's all, it's Gunnersville. Uh, we're down here in the, you know, this is all reds. Here's the big Gville bridge. This is the Browns, the Browns Creek Causeway. And this is Browns Creek. Um, so let's get started. So this is out of the box. Well, not out of the box because I've got some stuff to, turned off because I don't want to see like where's vegetation and stuff like that is. But um, one thing that I, how I like to run my map. So if we go over here, this is just like out again, out in front of Browns Creek. You know, everybody kind of knows about these humps out here in front of Browns Creek Causeway. I mean, it's just a bunch of humps all over the place. Um, and then, you know, here's the channel that leads out to the main river channel from Browns Creek. It's, you know, it just kind of flows all the way out. So especially when I'm running ledges, right? I'm, you know, offshore ledge fishing, this is stuff that I want to see. Um, so I'll zoom all the way in. Just so you see, so I got like all the, all of the, you know, contour lines and everything. This is what your, your look is. But I'm gonna show you some things that I like to do when, you know, looking at my map, how I like to have my map set up. So, and we're only talking about like what the map looks like. I'm not talking about like, oh, you want it pointed north. I like to have it pointed, you know, whichever way my vessel's running. So I know what I'm fixing to run into. It's easy to see, you know, looking looking ahead. Um, but because we're in the garage, I've got it northern up. <clears throat> so, and if uh, you don't know how to do that, oh, is it more options? Yeah, more options. You know, right now I've got it northern up, north up. Usually I run it as heading up and then I've got look ahead on but for right now we're gonna go north up just cuz that way the map's not spinning trying cuz it's trying to get GPS in the in the garage so let me go back so to start right now this is how I like to set it up um, if you want to see shading relief this is what I'm going to talk about right now so Again, we're in Browns Creek. 
here's some humps. You can see how it gets darker, darker blue for the, you know, the shallower and, and you know, a little lighter blue, a little lighter blue, a little lighter blue until it gets, I think, out deep and it goes dark. Yeah, out deep it goes dark. I mean, that's cool. And I mean, I can see stuff easy, but this, this to me helps it uh, easier. So we're gonna hit our menu button. We're gonna hit more options. Okay. Then I'm gonna hit chart options. Uh, let's go down. So then you like pull it up, you know, scroll down, however you wanna say that. Then we're gonna hit shade relief. And this is what shade relief turns on. So all that blue goes away and it's replaced with reds, oranges, yellows, greens, down to blue, I wanna say. Yeah, down to blue. Yep. So it goes from basically red all the way down to blue. That blue right there is deep water. Um, so right here, like that's those ex same exact humps that we were just looking at in the blue, but now everything pops. And another thing that pops, I don't, let's see, I don't know if you can see it as good, but let's zoom in. See how you got these little humpies, you got these little things that the, like there's a little, I don't know if it's a, if it's an old row bed or something, but it's a straight line. These things you can't see, you know, especially if you're zoomed out some because of all the clutter of the contours. And that's what I see it as, it's clutter. Because this is how I use my map. Same thing, chart, uh, chart options, no contours. And now watch when I hit no contours. It takes all those contours out and we start zooming in and now look at all that detail we get without the contour lines. Like I can see humps, you know, I can see, you know, old row beds. I can see all these little points. Um, there's an old row bed. I can see that now. I, let me, I'll, Put the the contour, no contours on. Or there's contours. So you can see that road bed, right? Out here, you can see that road bed real easy out in the deeper water. But when you get into this shallower water, you can't see it near as bad. So I can follow this road bed all the way up and all the way out by having, I mean, you can kind of see it because it's like, you see where it, the contours kind of point as it goes out, but when I hit that, now I can really see it. So that's one of the main reasons I like to use no contours. Like you can find that deeper water, right? And that little row bed, that row bed comes up and goes off that way. That's one of the things. And it just makes finding, you know, that, that stuff like that so easy with a CMAP card on my Lorances. Like it just pops to me like, and I've been using it like this for oh God, when did I, I messed up and did it one day and then like everything popped when I'm out trying to scan ledges and I was like, uh Oh, this is what I'm using from now on. <laughs> so with a reveal map, it's easy. And there's other things you can turn on and off uh, with it. You can turn, you know, if you want to see where, um, grass is and I'm not worried about that uh, so we'll, we can talk about that if you got people have enough questions I'll, I'll go over that but for me like having this in shading relief and no contours I mean it just makes stuff pop that old whatever that is road bed or whatever those little high spots on that island um, this this little road that goes like this I can just oh let's go check this let's go check this hump let's go check this hump oh look there's a little bit deeper hump right beside it let's check it let's check that little hump I mean it's just stuff is insane what you can see when you take it off you know getting all the way back into here you could actually see 
Like this is three foot deep because it was just showing us. I've done confused it. So it's three foot there. All right. So I can follow all these little channels back if I wanted to. It's just, it's stuff you can see better without the contours. And that's one way I like to like turn, look at my map, especially ledges. I'm not worried about a lot of stuff. Like I'm more worried about that little high spot right there and that little high spot along these channels. And you know, hoping that something pops out to me. Like, oh, look, there's like this. I'm gonna I'll give it a little thing. But that's gonna pop out way more to me and I'll put on the contours back. I mean, it's just, you can see it, but it's a lot of clutter, right? That's a lot of clutter to me until I do that. It makes me see stuff better. I hope, I hope this helps you. If you got uh, a con, uh, reveal map, this is how, if you don't have a reveal map, let's just say you have, oh, let's see. If you have just the C-map on board, that's C-map on board, that's what, what comes with the, uh, the units. This is what you're working with. All right, so let's, uh, again, let me go back, go back. Again, if this is what you're working with, I want to say the Precision HD maps is another one to use this next method I'm about to show you. Good maps, especially the Precision maps, the way those guys did stuff was insane. I've met them, talked to them, crazy, you know, just crazy. So this is my onboard map. You can see it's telling me, oh, look, there's some grass up there. So we're going to go back to the same spot, Browns Creek. So if you've got... Again, if you got the precision HD map, state maps, and I want to say it's like Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, one of the two, or maybe both. The Carolinas, they have the precision HDs. If not, this is just your C map that's built into the Lowrance. And you want to get kind of like that look that I had prior. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to hit menu. We're going to hit more options. We're going to hit chart options. Again, we're going to scroll all the way down, and where you see shading, we're going to hit shading, and you can customize this depth one and depth two. Now, mine's already customized because I've got a no depth one set for me picking out some sneak sneak stuff, uh, and I'll kind of show it to you later. Why not? But I'm going to hit, did I not hit it? Well, let's try our again, right? Shading, depth one. Boom. Depth one. And I'll show you my custom shading right quick. Depth one, this is my shading. Let me make sure I can see. I got two foot, three foot, four foot, five foot, eight foot, 10, 12, 15, 18, down to 25. And everything below 25 is gonna be white. That's how I've got this one set up. Cause I wanna see all these different, like all this stuff pop out to me, right? And that's how I've got it set out, set up. Um, depth two. Uh, so depth two, I ain't done nothing with. Um, but one thing you can do, this is kind of crazy, but um, say I wanted to see zero, 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 eight. Okay, and I want eight to be, I want eight to pop. So let me find a pop color, pink, pink pop. And I want, that to be 100. Make sure I'm doing this right. Okay. And then I'll, I want that to be eight to 10 foot. Zero, 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 zero. One, z uh, zero. Okay. And I want, oh no, I want this to be completely opaque. I want it to be, I want it to be um, opaque. Uh, so let's go. I think that's how I do it. Okay. Sorry guys. I'm I'm thinking through this right quick. It's been a while since I've done this. Okay. So now all these. Now I can just hit delete. Uh, um. So and now I want to set this one 
to be, I think it's like, if I set this one to be seven foot, okay, okay, okay. So, now, uh, let's go back. More options, and I'm thinking through this at the same time. So sorry guys if it's, if I'm wanting to just pick out the same areas, did that not do it? Yeah, so if I'm just wanting to see that eight foot mark, man, look, it's gonna pull out that eight foot mark. And when you can, you can combine that, <laughs> I got off the task. So, uh, let's just, so this is what you're gonna get with my, with custom shading. And you can customize it however you want it. Man, if you want, you know, deeper to be a certain color, just change it to your, Erratic. So let again, if you've just got CMAT like on board with your units, uh, again we got the CMAP on board. All right, this is, that's my Navionics card I got in here. I got a CMAP. I got my CVAT reveal card, but I got CMAP on board, and that's all you got. So you just go shading. This is what you got. Go into shading, set your, go into depth, and set it up in custom and make it for where your stuff pops, right? Everything's popping, it looks gorgeous. Like right now, I can kind of pick out, and kind of pick that off that road bed that I pointed out, and I can see the little high spots, and I can see some, some humps, and see where it's, uh, let's see, let's work. See where it's shallow, and see where it's deep, easy to run. This, you know, I can run because I know well, this is deep. Like, I don't have to worry about it. I can run. As long as there ain't nothing floating, I'm good. I'm golden. I can run. <clears throat> and I can see where points are. And I can see where humps are. And I can see where the top of humps are. And, you know, if there's a little side hump, you know, right here, there's a little side hump. Awesome. That's how you set it up, right? If you've got, again, if you've got the onboard maps, if you've got the precision maps, Buddy of mine still runs precision maps, and this is I've set his up to do this. And one, I don't think I got too much stuff on there. But if it was picking out little bitty ditches, and I'll, let me go up to Mud Creek. Let me find Mud Creek. Mud Creek, and then we might have to go in and turn off that. So Mud Creek has a ditch that leads all the way to the back. Let me turn that off. Mm, to chart options, chart detail categories, bottom composition. Turn off bottom composition. Is that it? Thought it was. Sorry. C bottom. C bottom not features. Is that it? Yep, there it is. So, and I want to follow this creek channel all the way back right here, right? So I, this is one of the reasons I got this card set up like this. Is I set it where I can follow this little creek channel. Now don't run. Don't run because this is shallow. But you can get on that trailer motor and follow this ditch all the way back. Kind of follow the path. You know, you can kind of see where it's shallower and a little bit deeper. And you can follow it all the way back to this bridge. To the deeper water. It leads back to like the back, back of of uh, Mud Creek. So you can set yours up to find the stuff that you want to find. Now, a little sneak sneak, right? Let's talk about sneak sneak. That's the reason I like the reveal. Let me go turn all my map stuff off. Get back to my original. Um, I need to go turn off my shading. Turn off my shading. Get back. So that's now, like I said before, that same ditch that I was trying to follow with that, with contours, right? Contours on. I can see it, cool. But contours off, I can really see it. I can really see how it flows all the way back around this little island. Flows all the way back, all the way back. Yeah, we followed all the way back. On trolling motor, easy, while we fishing, going along. Now. That, what I was saying about 
little sneak sneak, right? <laughs> oh, and there's going back in the hog pen. You can actually see kind of the deeper spots of the hog pen. So you can get back in it if you want to. I shouldn't be telling y'all that. <laughs> really shouldn't. Um, let's see, I'll show you a little ditch. You see that little ditch a little bit better. There's some other ditches. This is up north. Shouldn't be showing you all my stuff up up north of, of the G-Ville. <laughs> really shouldn't. All right, so let's get back out here. Now we got our, back to our, let's get back on topic. All right. Um, so here's our, our, um, our humps again out in uh, Browns Creek. Now, before what I was talking about, showing you something you can do. I'm going to shading. So I've got depth two. I've got eight foot, basically like an eight, nine, 10 foot highlighted. So if I go back and I click on depth two, see it? now, mm -hmm. my boys, my boys, you see that? It pulls out all that eight to 10 foot for me. I see that eight, 10 foot, like clear as day. I can run this map. And I can show you the juice. Like, I can see the juice. If I'm catching them on humps and in the 8-foot around humps, 10-foot around humps, 20-foot, if I wanted to set it to 20-foot and I wanted to see the humps that are, you know, all this stuff, man, it's going to pull it out and, you know, just make it so visible for me to see. Not a problem. C-Map on the rants. Hands down, the best mapping on the Tennessee River. I don't care... Sorry, Hummingbird guys, your maps aren't as good as C-Map. Lake Master is not as good as C-Map. Sorry, it's just not. I can do so much with my C-Map and Lowrance that you guys can't even dream of. Like, it wasn't until recently y'all got shading. And now I can shade and I can highlight. Oh, look at, look at that little, that little... A little eight foot spot right there. What if they were just in that eight foot zone? And that's a little, look, it goes up. Oh, I got a little eight foot zone. I'm gonna catch them right there. Oh, look at that point, that eight foot, that point where it drops off. Oh, so I've rambled and I know I have guys and this is probably like a crazy thing, but if you followed my train of thought, I hope it helps you. If you didn't and you have a direct question, Hit me down in the comments. Like I said before, I kind of touched on it with on um, on TikTok. And if you guys are coming from TikTok to check it out, thanks for thanks for coming up, coming over. And I hope it makes a little bit of sense. And I hope this helps you. But like straight up, this is how I run my maps. Ninety-five percent of the time, I'm going to run. Chart options, I'm gonna run no contours or shade relief with no contours. And then when I wanna get into that sneak sneak, I wanna find me some sneak sneak. Like I figured it out, they in 10 foot of water off of brakes. Eight foot of water off of brakes. I'm hitting that button. You know, I'm gonna go set up my little uh, map. Look, there, there's a break into the river channel. Right there, right? Coming off, it's, I, it's where I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna go hit every stinking one of them. Every stinking one of them. All right, every stinking one of them. And it just draws it to my attention. So I'm not out looking out here for it. I know exactly where to go. Even if I've never fished the place at all, like I ain't got no waypoints over there, nothing. We fixing to see it, cause I'm fixing to make it highlight. Again, hope this helps. If you have any questions and, you know, if you need any help, because I know I've rambled and went, you know, squirreled a few times because, like, I get excited. Like, I was talking to the C-Map guy at Red Quarter S, and I was like, dude, like, it's amazing <laughs> the things I can do with my uh, reveal maps. And it was just, like, geeking out because I, I nerd out and geek out on this kind of stuff, so... This stuff helps you guys. I hope it does. 
Um, if you've got any questions, hit me up. I gladly help, like gladly talk you through it. You know, if we need to get on the phone, you really need some help. I can get on the phone with you, help you out. Um, so there we are. If you have any questions, again, hit me up. And that's it. Until next time, stay safe, tight lines, and I hope this helps you catch more fish. <laughs>